Good evening YouTube. Glad to be back. You saw from my previous video I was severely injured. I tried to pull off my toe but thankfully it didn't work. I'm back on my feet now though and because of the long hiatus from shopping we were very low on supplies and behind in our holiday preparations. So we got a little bit caught up today. We went to Goodwill, Gabriel Brothers and Myers, um, as well as Kroger's, but I'm not uh, including anything from Kroger in the video. Um, this time, maybe next time. Anyway, let's start with the Goodwill haul. Um, Mom, since she came home from the nursing home, is uh, pretty much in the bed all the time. And she's a voracious reader, so I was able to get for her 18 novels by um, regular authors that are writing now. Um, and these ought to keep her occupied. For a good while, we got 18 books. And she usually takes about two or three days to go through a book. So she's good, hopefully, for a month. Here's hoping. We'll keep our fingers crossed. And uh, let's see. My husband, he's the one who really did well at the Google this time. He got a men's leather lined three-quarter length coat. And surprisingly for Goodwill, there's nothing missing. It has all the snaps. It has pockets. It has lining. It's pristinely clean. And most of all, the item that's usually missing from the Goodwill uh, leather coats is the belt. It has the belt. And it isn't attached. It's amazing. It's still with it. Yes, so he got this heavy, clean, uh, thorough coat for 49 bucks. It wasn't half price on half price day because it's what they call a buyout. So, um, buyout item. So, even at 49 bucks. This is a $500 coat all day, every day. And he got it for 10%, less than 10% of the price. So, yeah, he really made out today. It was his day at the Goodwill. So I wanted to show you that. And um, I, as I mentioned in another video, am updating a lot of our frames. And I really got the kind of frames I like today. I got two that match. And they have an excellent frame with the mat with an inner mat. So this has the gold frame, ivory mat, and gold inner mat. So I'll uh, put my picture or certificate or diploma in the frame, take their picture out, put our item in, and we'll have a nice match set of m museum quality uh, frame for a really reasonable price. The price was eight bucks regularly, so I, and it was half price day, so I got two for eight bucks. Can't beat that price. Then, let's see. Yep, yeah, that's, that's all for the Goodwill haul from Gabriel Brothers. I got some of these items you know I love to get. They're the makeup bags. $3.99 each. Aren't they pretty sparkly? Nice and sparkly. And I'll use them for purses. Clutches. I Yes, I will. And I already know which one I'll use this with. I have a nice dress uh, that's black and blue, and I'll get um, use this makeup bag with it, and it will look absolutely lovely with one of my signature black jackets. The black one, I think, I will use with one of the outfits I'm just about to show you. I also purchased from Gabriel Brothers. And the shoeaholic in me had her fixed today. Yes, she did. Oh, as I mentioned, those gray boots I had, I made a mistake while my foot was really still hurting. I don't know what I was thinking. I tried to put them on and I caught that toe just wrong and good Lord, I saw stars again. I saw Jupiter and Mars. I had the pain like I, it was unbelievable. So all I could think of was taking those shoes back to the store. I took them back today and as soon as I turned them and I said to myself, you know what? They probably wouldn't hurt now. But I'd already turned them back in and I said, well, that's all right. Went shopping and found an even better pair. Yes, I did. Those were plastic from Dots. These are leather. Not sure where they're from. Um, but they're real leather with fleece lining. And they're so comfortable and warm. I got them in, I usually wear a nine. 
I got them in a 10 because I'm going to probably wear two pairs of socks just to make sure that I'm nice and warm and use that uh, plastic bag trick to make sure they're weatherproof so that my feet don't get either wet or cold. Yes, $9.99. Now the shoe holic. Oh, wait till you see these. Look at these. Bam. Peep toe, chain detailing, velvet, platform, stilettos. Yes, ticking all the boxes. And guess what? Comfortable. I couldn't believe it. So, these will be some of my holiday treats for myself. $9.99. Can you believe the price? These are by Kiss and Tell. I've never heard of them. But they're really comfortable and really cute. Yes, and I wear them with one of the outfits I'll show you today. And uh, another pair, pointy. My husband likes pointy shoes. These have um, also velvet, leather heel, a leather bow detailing across the front. Very comfortable, again, by Kiss and Tell from Gabriel Brothers for, again, $9.99. Unbelievable price. Yes. So, my, sh my shoeaholic is satisfied for the time being. Hopefully she'll stay satisfied for a good little while with those. This, also from Gabriel Brothers by Unique. I don't know who that is. I've never heard of it. But it's a sheer shirt that I'll wear with... Oh, did I mention the this outfit, I seven ninety nine little knit dress I have on, um, also had a very nice slip inside of it. I didn't realize a little black slip, so I'm going to use that little black slip, which will become the infamous black slip from another outfit, with this since it is sheer, and I'll also use another belt from another outfit. I already have it, the belt in mind to belt this. Probably wear it with some either cream. Or black stockings. I'm still trying to find those black booties I keep mentioning. I have them in my mind, but I haven't found them. And I'll wear this not to work. This will be an outfit of going to friends and family. Something for the holidays that is cute. And, um, oh, you know, a little seductive, a little provocative. Just to, um, you know, put on the dog just a little. Not too much. Yes, and then here's my PS2 resistance. I can believe it. It didn't have a price on it, so I was kind of reticent going to the um, uh, cash register. I said, oh, if it come rings up too much, I will not get it. I have to promise myself not to overspend. This is an Ashley Stewart dress. Yes, it is. Isn't it lovely? It's uh, satin with a fitted waist, a rayon satin-esque bodice. And um, it's beautiful, absolutely lovely. And when she said the price, I said, you're coming home with me. $9.99 for an Ashley Stewart lovely holiday dress. Yes, I can't wait to show you. I'm going to style this with the uh, pointy shoes, I think. Um, and a jacket. And of course, some arm and ear candy. So I can't wait to show you that. That's what I'm going to wear for a holiday treat for myself. Also got some uh, stockings. Don't you hate to see people with runs in their stockings? Stockings run so quickly. I got two pairs of nude and two pairs of jet black. Um, I also got some little earrings. I don't know why do I lose my stud earrings? I think I knocked them out of my ear with my phone. Anyway, I got some cute little replacements, some clear, hot pink, and yellow. And my pearl bracelet that I showed you recently uh, from a haul, it broke, sending pearls popping everywhere. So I got a replacement for that at Gabriel Brothers today. And a little bonus, some drop earrings, pierced earrings with them. So uh, that little replacement set with a um, triple strand of pearls and a little rhinestone detailing. So cute for $1.99. Looks like a million bucks. Yes, and then some, I thought these were bracelets, but these are earrings. So I think these will be nice for the holiday season. I'll be wearing these. And then um, I got some readers to add to my um, leopard shoes and scarf. When I wear that, I'll wear these. These have a leopard print on the arms. 
black on the front so it, is, it won't be too busy. It'll be just right. And some plain black sunglasses because all of my sunglasses, my black ones, are very ornate on the front. So I needed some plain ones. I, don't, I, want, to, I want to be conservative sometime. So the little design is on the side. It's a silver hoop on the side around the arm. But the front is really nice and plain. So, also got some wrapping paper. Now this, they asked me at work to, in the club I belong to at work, to head up the filling the box for a needy family for uh, the holidays. And I had suggested, it was my suggestion to fill up a Rubbermaid style box. Um, but then I thought, you know, if we do three or four boxes, that can get kind of expensive. And that money we could better use, I think, toward filling, filling the box with something for the needed families but uh, we'll talk about it more because I think my, my initial idea was that the Rubbermaid box could be useful after the supplies were finished so I think we'll talk about that more if we decide not to buy the boxes I think we could use the paper boxes that the copy paper comes in and I could decorate them up with this wrapping paper and make a really nice presentation for the needy families and also Let's see, what else? Last but not least, I have a giveaway. I've almost used up my Rihanna Rebel um, fragrance. I love it. And I had bought another one for myself because my one I'm using is already half full. Not half empty, half full. So I got one for a subscriber appreciation. And it's Rihanna Rebel. I love the fragrance and I think you will too. What did she say? Uh, they love my smell. Yeah, it's it's great. So, if you're a subscriber, you want to battery ran out. That's the first time that ever happened to me. Anyway, so I have subscriber appreciation giveaway of a Rihanna fragrance. It's a Rebel by Rihanna. Is this the one she mentions? They love my smell in her um, video. Anyway, it is very nice. I've um, finished half of mine and bought another and I bought one for a subscriber if you're an already a subscriber just comment you'd like to win the fragrance if you aren't a subscriber and you want to uh, be considered to win the fragrance please subscribe and comment that you want to win the fragrance I'll announce the winner the weekend after Thanksgiving and hopefully I won't have any more injuries so I'll be able to send it right out and to my win winner of the week, I really apologize. I couldn't get up those post office stairs. I really tried to. I uh, just couldn't make it up there. But um, it's all boxed up and ready to go now. And Monday, I'm going to send it off to you. So hopefully I'll be in good health the weekend after Thanksgiving to announce the winner of the Rihanna fragrance. Uh, thanks for watching. And please like and comment. Enter the contest. Let me know how your hauls are going so I can watch your videos too. Talk to you later.